Christine? No, but why you never tell about Christine? No, why you never tell about Christine? 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 Why you Police not pulling over dog! My me didn't tell him to start out in papers, you know? I'm paper them expire. Wait, we fight, we have to go. Yeah. Babes, babes, send me a voice note there. Yeah, yeah, yo, mute your phone for me, mute your phone. Yeah, ah. Leave me on! Leave me on! Show it. Alex, you tell her to stop the Yuda boy there. Yo Clifford, I'm going to call you back. Yeah bro, I'm going to call you back tomorrow. Is it? Backside of the brother, Christine left one bag of messages from my phone last night regarding you. More than likely to find out about Monica, and she not so unhappy at all. It's a waste of time if you even try to contact her either. She all a throw a big threat say, if you come by her yard, she going to take legal action. My youth, take my fool's advice, I suggest you just leave her alone. You see? Yo, I don't want to see a call or a text or that, I tell you. Next time, I'm going to kill you. <laughs> oh, go on, sexy. So, what friend name at all, bro? What do you mean by what friend? Just look at Instagram. Should we see how it takes our way over here, though? Just look at Instagram. Okay. Do you that thing they're feeling? Do you really think? See him doctor boy issue. Which doctor boy issue? You may tell me say, is it me? So, I'm just deal with it. When you do to him? When you do to him? It's so concerning though. No, I'm just gonna ask you the team. Just to ask you the team. Just calm down. Just know, sir, me never kill him. I'm just deal with him and tell him, say, yo, stop coming around here, so. See? Okay. That's all? That's all. Okay. That's all. It sounds like you really want to know the full detail, though. No, I was just asking. I don't want him in a trouble, I'm just asking. Let's, let's not talk about him no more. 
Okay. Let's talk about us. You know, it's been a long time, me and you haven't spent quality time. Well, we do. Come on, when last we actually, you know, do it. I don't remember, but we spend quality time. I come there, you know, you yeah, and the shots, yeah. You can't even take me out of fire. I'm tired, alright? You always tell me say you're tired. Not one day you can't tell me say you're ready. Babe, I'm just tired. Can't bother this no more, man. Babe, stop it. Stop it. I'm just tired. School is stressing me out. Alright? Please sit down. I'm just tired, alright? You know me, I try to get my subjects there and stuff like that. I'm just tired. I'm sorry. Babe, you know some I love you. I know you do. I love you too. You know what? I don't want to carry down one place now. Really? Which place? Down at Gloria's. Is, the, is that the seafood place? Yeah, I'm going to go buy some. I'm going to buy a fried fish. I still love just the bottom. Oh, no. that's why I love you. Baby. Huh? I love you, you know. Love you too, baby. Rise and shine and wake up your bo bo clad brother. Eight weeks done, your sick leave up. Get dressed, bed, wash your thinking mode, and find your ass come on the people and work. Billy Ray was a preacher's son, and when his daddy was busy, he come along. When they gathered around and started talking, that's when Billy would take me walking. I'm Abigail White with EPM Medicare, and I'm calling in regards to your Medicare options. Am I speaking with Julia Bennett? Great, Julia. All the companies have added additional benefits to their policies at absolutely no cost to you, so this isn't going to cost you a dime. I just have a couple questions for you to see if you qualify. Do you have Medicare Parts A and B? Oh, you do. Hi, my name is Christine McFarlane. Hi, my name is Tanisha Wellington. And um, I'm oh, yes, Dennis. Um, no, I'm seeing that you didn't pay your last bill for 700 Oh, shit. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm listening. Hi, my name is Ashley Harrison, and I'm calling from EPM Medicare. Yeah, I'm just calling about your Medicare options. Am I speaking with Barbara White? Yes, hi, Barbara. Okay, thank you for calling. Thank you for calling. Okay, thank you for calling. EPM Medicare. All right, have a nice day. Bye-bye. Morning, boss. Time to take so long. I had some business to take care of. That's okay. Thanks for making me stay, though. Because if mommy be found out about all this mess, she might beat my ass. Me know. By the way, how oh, your face today? Yeah. Still hurt you? Yeah? Ow, oh, whoa. Yeah, it still hurt me. Alex dirty side work beat me up, and then Mr. Alex himself come and finish me off. So yes, it still hurt me. Not lie. Seem like you had the roughest week. If I did me, but I stab him. Yeah, I stab him. Right in that angel wings so hard that the knife broke off. I lie. But I don't wanna say I saw your bad cousin. Yeah, I saw my bad. We have a question. Mm. Why are you a scam? I mean, why am I a scam? You're a smart girl. You can do better things with life. Like what? Like, go college. Get a better paying job. Use the telemarketing skills. College? College? Listen to me. If you can hustle up half a million dollars by the time the year for done for your college fee, why not drop out of college, hustle up one million dollars, invest it? Does that make more sense? It seems to me that this 
making money thing is a mindset and determination thing and not a bachelor's degree thing and what the fuck is a bachelor's degree for anyways it's an obstacle designed to keep people from getting a well-paid job easily it's a system put in place to keep those who can afford it to make it and the people who can't afford it too bad you shouldn't have been poor and when the college fee is paid you end up with what zero dollars they drive you balls deep into so much debt that they'll have you on your knees when they finish milking you dry and at the end of it all you'll be one of two things overqualified and having to take any shitty job that's hiring or in debt to your student loans and that no must mean say you're gonna pass all because they did one go college to feel important and it's not like them are teaching you anything in the college anyway. All them do, I give you the book them and say, go and go do the assignment and come tomorrow for this course. And uh, me, are the bad guy? Scamming is everywhere, my dear cousin. Some are just legal. And speaking of scammers, what we are going to do about that Alex guy? Yeah? I don't know, but just want him to suffer. And feel what I feel, I just want to hurt him. Helping. What's his Instagram name? Mm. Link on something like that. Girl, you have fuck one guy for six months. I you don't know him Instagram? <laughs> Cause, but I met the guy doing nothing likes. Give what me a break. Mm. Are him this? Yeah, him that. What you do? What is that one thing that any womanizer cannot resist? Woman? Exactamundo. You wanted me to put my telemarketing skills to good use? Well, here's a perfect opportunity. Telemarketing skills? What you talking about? I'm talking about scamming the scammer. He thinks he's so high and mighty the way how he's conned women into sleeping with him. Well, it's about time he picks on somebody his own size. We're gonna break him out just like I break yours. And then we're gonna rob his bank account completely dry. Ooh, I like the way you think cause but, oh, we ever do that. It's not like we are dating anymore. You know, I'm glad you're forward tonight. Really? Yeah. It was okay vibes. I wonder if we could I do this again sometime? I don't know. Why should I? Because, from what I can see, you give me player vibes. I don't usually date players. <laughs> you serious? Mm -hmm. Make your play vibes? Yep. How? Are we on my dress? Yeah. Well, I mean, you forced me out on a date that I didn't even want to come to in the first place. And then you bring me somewhere that you are very familiar with. So it seems. And then you give me the corniest lines that you could possibly think of. Yep, definitely a player. Oh. That 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 how everything we see for me right now. Yep. I'm just very good at reading people. Oh, you're good at reading people? Yes. Okay, Miss Psychology. What you see? Tell me. I see a little boy who's scared inside. I see somebody who uses fancy things to lure women over to feel good about themselves. Whoa. That you read for me a while ago? Yep. <sighs> Alright. You want me to tell you what me read for you? Okay. Go ahead. Well, what me read is that me see a shy girl in you as well. Maybe you did have just one relationship back in either college or high school. Just one. And I use that one relationship with it that when it ends so badly, I use it for judge all of the one them going forward. And then you have this defense mechanism where you feel like the dominance is the shit, right? You're the one that's talking here. But also you look like one of them pretty girls that were working at the office then. You just answer phone calls all day long, right? Well, you're kinda close. I do telemarketing. Telemarketing. So I am close then. Tell me about it. What do you sell? Uh, life insurance. Oh. Mm -hmm. Healthcare. Nice. Nice. So you're not going to ask me though? You didn't give me a chance to ask. 
Well, I am a doctor at UA Hospital. Oh, you're a doctor? Yep. Okay, that's impressive. And in the night, the extra cash. We drive the ambulance. Yeah, see, I don't know. Yeah. I'm impressed. Of course, you have to be impressed. You're sounding very cocky there. Not cocky, just a man of confidence. Uh, <laughs> definitely a player. You're not going to go play a thing off for me, don't you? No. <laughs> Alright. Okay, fine. So, what do you want to do for the rest of the night? I don't know. Your house or mine? Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Little too fast? Oh, I'm sorry. I thought that's what you were used to, player. You know what? Can I get laid? I think I'll just go home. Oh, wow. You won't even walk me to my door. Someday you are. Of course, I'm going walk you to your door. All right. You know what? I'm going walk you to your door. I'm going bring you upstairs. And maybe, maybe, you get a kiss for your cheek. OK? So, miss. Psychology, you owe me a second date. Hmm. Have a long day at work tomorrow. I think I'll go home. Okay, go. Let's go. sleep last night. It was good. <laughs> it must be after the dick that we get last night. <laughs> oh, last night was so funny. I'll ask you something. Mm. The new guy we ask him, right? Mm. What do you mean? We were talking about this already. Yeah, but like you already scammed somebody. So it's like, why well, even need a new person? Yeah, well, I mean, this scam is not for me. It's for my cousin, Monica. Mm -hmm. Remember I told you, he was such an asshole, he broke her heart. So, getting back at him. Yeah, but like, I'm just a normal feel. We don't say as data bagaman and his name. Them even in the same space with their breathing ear and shit. <laughs> Come on, B, you have nothing to worry about. This guy is not even my type. Like, you're good. <laughs> But like, how long is it going to last though? I don't know, just until we get back at him. The scam is done. It shouldn't last long. How do you even know when a scam is done? It, should, like... it shouldn't last long, like a month maybe? For what? What you mean is that going is for protection. It's not like you have somebody to take you when you go on and scare What do you mean that going? I just say protection. No, I'm not going to shoot nobody. You know, you know, must use it. You know, must use it, but like if something pop off, you have to be ready, isn't it? Okay. Thank you. <laughs> and I'll say a word. <laughs> you have to go teach me. <laughs> Come teach us something now. <laughs> Come teach us something. I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> Like, it carry me out, we talk, a good conversation, something like that. Well, I mean, I'm alright, but he's not all that. I'm arrogant and I'm full of himself. I could clearly see that he was a player. And better never get to the man sit down there and I try to read me like he's a psychiatrist. I never see nothing so hurt me so yet. Anyway, you see, Pat passed over where you cook. 
cook some macaroni and cheese. Monica, macaroni and cheese. A little stewed chicken, a little curry chicken. And you, a look, man. I forgot to eat you something. Girl, leave me alone. But, why you look so? What do you mean, why I look so? Where are you coming from? You should have been back from yesterday. I forgot to my man. It is stressed out. Anyway, I'm going to take a shower. Only my cousin.